like Sam finds Sarabi and her hunting party from the night before. Clearly, the lioness's hard work and patience has paid off. So it's just amazing. We have the four MK females here, and they've managed to take down the buffalo by themselves. A kill this big is quick to attract attention. Not only from the vultures, the punks have also arrived. This is the first time Sam has seen the MK male so far north since the nomads invaded. And these two punk boys have now come closer north, the closest they've been. Um, and I mean, a lion will do anything for food, any opportunity. But here, at the northern edge of their territory, the punks are closer than ever to where the invading nomad males were last spotted. Yeah, you've got to wonder where the nomads are and if they can also smell this, this buffalo carcass. So all the ears have spiked up. They can hear that lion calling. There's little doubt. It's one of the nomads. And he's close. The lions are looking really, really interested. There's another lion calling not far away. Punks immediately abandon the kill and get back to work, marking their border. It's now more urgent than ever they keep control of their territory. While the punks do their duty, the lionesses can reap the benefits of their own hard work. There's only one female, Sarabi's left on the kill now. The younger female, she's head off. She's had enough of the sun. There's just the, the main dominant female left. In 95 degree heat, after plenty to eat, it's time for a siesta. But Sarabi's torn. She's desperate to join the others in the shade. but she can't bear to give up her kill. She doesn't know what to do, poor girl. For the vultures, it's a game of cat and mouse. She finally calls it quits. Or maybe just one more bite. The circling vultures act like a beacon, drawing in the Wangwas and the predators, which spells trouble for Sarabi. There's a lot of hyenas gathering on the left now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine hyenas, one lioness. Lions and hyenas are each other's worst enemy. While the other lions sleep, Sarabi alone must defend the kill. But it's kind of a standoff now, one lioness against a ton of hyenas. <laughs> more powerful lions will easily kill a hyena. This is incredibly intense. But in enough numbers, hyenas can come out on top. The hyenas keep advancing, but she's not having any of it. Hyenas are dragging the kill. And she's trying to decide whether or not it's worth it. Just as the hyenas begin to get the upper hand, Axel comes to the rescue. Better than to make. 
mess with a fully grown male lion. But Axel's not really hungry. He's made his point. With the hyenas scattered, the vultures finally get their turn. Only when the lions are at a safe distance do the hyenas dare to move back in. Lions versus hyenas, age-old enemies. Really cool to watch it and capture it on the camera. Hey okay, guys, I think let's go find some shade, hey? It's now three months into the dry season. As more and more lagoons dry up, animals start to come to the river. It's a tough time for prey. But as they bunch together, hunting gets easier for their predators. Nathan's out looking for the Hollywood pride. He's keen to check on Ava, most badly injured after their run-in with the nomads three days ago. The lionesses have been on the move. Nathan tracks them down at the edge of their favorite hunting ground. But Ava's on her own. Her injuries are making it hard for her to keep up, and Nathan thinks the others might have left her behind on purpose. I mean, first she gets absolutely beaten up by the, uh, the nomad males and the other females, and now she's been um, ousted by her own and sort of left out on the, on the edge. She's kind of been uh, shunned a bit. An hour later, Ava finally catches up with the pride. But there's no telling how they'll react. Then, a warm welcome. Much to Nathan's relief. It seemed like she was being isolated. And I've certainly seen that before when uh, there's almost a sign of weakness between one of the Pride members. But it looks really, you know, quite positive today. They're all together, uh, very comfortable with each other. I mean, I, I think there's no doubt she's in a lot of pain and, you know, is walking very slowly. You can really see the wound on her back quite clearly from here. So it's dried out. Um, but it's quite deep. Just when she's getting down, that seems to be her biggest problem, and she kind of snarled at the idea of there must be a lot of pain. But Ava has greater troubles than her pain. All the lionesses are hungry. They haven't eaten for days. But it's Ava, their leader, who always initiates the hunts. Now she's out of action. The question is, can the others manage without her? She's obviously not in great condition, but the bond of the pride seems to be holding. She's going to need the bond of this pride to, uh, to keep her alive. <laughs> <laughs> 